Southern Charm is arguably one of the most engrossing reality television shows on Bravo. And because many of the cast members are friends, or at least frenemies in real life, the drama continues between seasons off-camera. Pour yourself a glass of sweet tea and get ready for all of the Southern Charm drama you don't see on TV. Austin Kroll's Cheap Shot Friendly exes Austin Kroll and Chelsea Meisner present a united front on camera, even professing mutual adoration for one another in season five. You're like one of my best friends. I'm gonna cry. You know that I feel the same way about you, Chelsea. You know that. So fans wondered why Kroll seemed to take a shot at Meisner in June 2018, just after their heartwarming exchange aired. It all started when Kroll shared a photo of himself pretending to propose to girlfriend Madison LaCroix. Following the post, a fan took Kroll to task for not sealing the deal with Meisner when he had the chance, writing in a sense-deleted comment, "...it's only exhausting because you don't want to do the work necessary to get Chelsea. You are okay to settle for the lowest hanging fruit." But instead of brushing the comment off, Kroll doubled down with, I need a woman with a sex drive. The High Ashley Movement If you're a Southern Charm fan on Twitter, there's a good chance you caught wind of the High Ashley hashtag. Longtime cast member Katherine Dennis created the hashtag to throw shade at Thomas Ravenel's then-girlfriend Ashley Jacobs. After Dennis received a nasty message in June 2018 from a new Twitter account that only had a few followers, she insinuated Jacobs was the troll behind the account by responding, Hi, Ashley. I got a message on Instagram. It was like, Ashley is like a high-end escort. Soon, Hi Ashley became the battle cry of Catherine's supporters on Twitter. In fact, model Chrissy Teigen even got in on the action. When Dennis asked her followers if Hi Ashley is the new bi Felicia, Teigen tweeted, Stop! Is she making fake accounts? I die! Even fellow cast member Patricia Altschul, who had completely written Dennis off in earlier seasons, also got in on the Hi Ashley train. As for Jacob's take on the mess, she denies making any fake accounts. She's so delusional. I want to say every night you go to bed, you think about how Ashley Jacobs is winning. Yeah. Patricia vs. Catherine it's no secret that Patricia Altschall and Catherine Dennis got off to a very rocky start. Altschall often took Thomas Ravenel's side over Dennis's throughout their tumultuous on-and-off relationship, but everything changed, however, when Altschall invited Dennis to her winter ball on the season 5 finale. It's been jarring seeing Mom and Catherine talk. It's like like seeing the mailman shaking hands with Doberman Pinscher. Altschul tweeted that she'd been told Dennis was doing well and had been sober for quite some time. I'd seen it for myself from watching the show, and I no longer believed the lies Thomas and Ashley had been telling me about her. It's been five years. Right. Five years, exactly. Altschul and Dennis have continued their friendship post-filming. Not only does Altschul retweet positive messages about Dennis, but she also defends her against Jacob's tirades. Here's to a positive new chapter for Altschul and Dennis. These two have come a long way. Thomas Gets Blocked Patricia Altschul's son, Whitney Sudler Smith, and Thomas Ravenel were close friends before Southern Charm ever became a hit. But given their long history, some fans might be surprised to learn that the two aren't on speaking terms anymore. Altschul dropped this major bomb in June 2018 when a fan asked where she and Sudler Smith stood on Ravenel following the jaw dropping season 5 finale. Altschul tweeted, Neither Whitney nor myself have a relationship and haven't for quite some time. I just had an inkling that all hell was going to break loose. And I was right. Fans caught a whiff of this drama months earlier when Ravenel bashed Altschall for blocking him on social media. He wrote in a sense deleted Instagram comment, The queen of Southern gentility and the recent author on Southern etiquette has blocked me from Twitter and Instagram. Just FYI. So, what led to Ravenel's falling out with these two? Look no further than his then girlfriend, Ashley Jacobs, supposed harassment of Altschall's close pal, Luzanne Autie. In a June 2018 tweet, Altschall implied that Jacobs allegedly cyberbullied. Ati due to her, quote, obsessiveness and insecurity. Kroll's Wild Claims Austin Kroll just can't keep his mouth shut about his exes. Just six months after he broke up with season 5 girlfriend Victoria Bullyard, he took to Instagram to accuse her of erratic behavior. Do you feel like that was appropriate body language for two people that are friends that used to be dating? I mean, I guess that the only right answer here is no. Kroll alleged that Bolliard flipped out because he'd remained friendly with ex-girlfriend Chelsea Meisner. He supposedly told a fan, "...after she threw the drink on me, she followed me home and threw a rock through my window, and I had to call the cops. That was the third time she's had similar freakouts." When Bolliard caught wind of Kroll's dig, she reportedly shot back with a jab of her own, commenting on Instagram, "...I was the one girl who didn't cheat on him or blow up his character flaws on national TV, but he still chooses animosity toward me." Uh-oh, was Bolliard insinuating that 
Meisner cheated on Kroll? If it's true, this tea is piping hot. Rose and Dennis hooking up Fans of Shep Rose and Catherine Dennis becoming an actual couple will want to sit down for this one. The friends who admitted to having hooked up in the past actually did the dirty together six or seven times. Rose shared the shocking truth during a July 2018 episode of Watch What Happens Live, telling Andy Cohen, Well, we met at one of my bars, and we had a couple drinks, and it was just like on fire again. Rose also revealed that he'd considered taking his relationship with Dennis to the next level. Do you go on dates first or cut right no. to the no. no. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Um, and that's not the, I would go on a date with understood. her. Understood. Like, both sort of like. Supporters of these friends with benefits will be thrilled to learn that Dennis is also open to the idea of a romance with Rose. She said on the show, I still play with the idea just because, I don't know, we have good sex, whatever. And he's cute. Kroll, LaCroix, and bumps in the road. If you want more proof that Austin Kroll has a difficult time maintaining romantic relationships, look no further than the rumor that he cheated on his girlfriend, Madison LaCroix. The sordid drama reportedly went down in mid-2018 when Kroll enjoyed a night out on the town with two local women. A source told Fitz News the outing apparently took a turn for the scandalous when Kroll allegedly quit responding to LaCroix's text messages. LaCroix then showed up at his house early the next morning to have it out about the radio silence. When she arrived at his home, she supposedly found the ladies in his bedroom. But LaCroix has since moved on from the dramatic event. She replied to a fan on Instagram in July 2018, writing, Like every relationship, we have gone through a few bumps in the road to get where we are now. A video taken several months ago while we weren't in a relationship is showing one side of a story. This will not tear us apart. We chose to forgive, forget, and move forward with a fresh start. Elizabeth doesn't want help. Naomi Olindo, who dated Southern Charm star Craig Conover for three years, is no stranger to stirring up drama on the show. Fans witnessed this in season five when she took cast member J.D. Madison to task for allegedly cheating on his wife and her friend, Elizabeth Madison. You pretend to do like the Golden Boy sh it doesn't work anymore. Everybody at this table knows that you're a complete piece of sh but strangely enough, Elizabeth didn't appreciate Olindo's support. She told The Daily Dish, Naomi took some things I had shared with her in private and mixed them with lies, rumors, and her own personal judgments to cast JD in a negative light. Olindo defended her decision to confront JD, telling The Daily Dish, It's one thing if this is what you choose, but why would you throw me under the bus and discredit what I did? It's so crazy to me that now it's like she's trying to rewrite history. While JD and Elizabeth split in early 2018, according to The Daily Dish, it looks like the two might be back on, according to Elizabeth's Instagram.